What's up, everybody? Justin here, bringing you another poorly reviewed beer from Cambridge Brewing Company, Cambridge, our fair city, ma. This is Flower Child IPA. Let's see if I can get so. It's a little better, a little less glare. That way. All right. Notes from the brewery on this beer. Extensively hopped and dry hopped with a big roster of hops. Simcoe, Centennial, Cascade, Atanum, Chinook, and Amarillo. It's a it's big, bright, and floral with just enough malt to balance. This American-style IPA stands head and shoulders above its hoppy brethren, blending pale and honey malts to balance the palate without interfering in your herbal reverie and creating a new American classic. 6.5% ABV. Okay, good amount of head, a crystal clear, uh, I would call that a kind of a goldish color, gold to orange. As I hold up to the light, it gets uh, more towards a yellow and yellow gold color. I see a good couple fingers worth of head, roughly. Uh, Mild, mild amount of carbonation shooting up through the through the glass so um and again pretty much perfectly see-through all right let's give it a try hmm. it's a nice herbal nose at, on it that comes out pretty well uh, and that really follows through in the taste Mm-hmm. Yeah, really, really very herbal. Maybe just a very, very slight hint of citrus. Uh, some pine notes in there as well, I think. Man, those, uh, those earthy and herbal notes are, uh, are heavy hitters, though. There's a good amount of bitterness to it as well, actually. Yeah, I would say surprisingly so. Surprisingly high amount of bitterness and really pretty much the whole way through the drinking experience and even more so now as an aftertaste. Uh, really comes through that bitterness. Uh, surprising for more of an American style uh, IPA. Um, as they claim to be. Um, on the more traditional IPAs you'll get plenty of hops but uh, I typically find these Americans are more focused on other flavors and the, the hop bite plays a little bit of a, a background role, but it is very much a, very much a hop forward beer and a hop bite forward beer uh, right here. Maybe to the point of being a little overwhelming, frankly. As I'm about, I don't know what, four or five sips in, six sips in. Um, it's really starting to take over everything else going on. Um, in my mouth. I've lost what little citrus there might be. Excuse me. I've lost what little citrus there might be. Even kind of the, the herbal notes are, are really taking a back seat. Um, it's warming up a little bit as well. So that may be a part of the... Why the bite's ramping up a little bit. But uh, maybe a little bit too far over the edge for me. I'm sure the hopheads would, uh, would be a big fan of this. But... Uh, might just be too over the top for me. I've never really been a pure IPA guy. I typically enjoy these uh, these more American style or, or even the uh, the English style IPAs, but uh, this one um, I would almost argue pushes more towards the uh, the traditional side of the IPA spectrum. And nothing wrong with that, but not just not necessarily my cup of tea. But uh, so there, were, there were certainly a few nice things going on in that beer, but they just uh, got quickly overwhelmed for me by the uh, by the hot bite. So those are my thoughts on the uh, Flower Child IPA from Cambridge Brewing Company. And that's it for this edition of Poorly Reviewed Beer. 
You can find all my reviews, both video and written, along with news, commentary, and more at poorlyreviewedbeer.com. Also, check out PRB on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Untapped. You can find all those links and usernames in the description below. If you're, just, if you're so inclined, please like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you around at Poorly Reviewed Beer.